Hey everybody, Jittery J here. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, today we're checking out Ren and Troubles. Now, I've been putting this one off because Ren's music he tends to hit me in one of several different ways. Um, either it gets me hyped up, it gets me motivated, or it gets me into my deeper emotions. And with a title like Troubles, I get the feeling this is going to be one of those that gets me into my deeper emotions. Uh, but anyway, before we get started, we're going to hit Rim with a like and subscribe on the original video. That is the important part of what we do here, is to spread awareness of these artists. Um, speaking of showing support to the artist, all of Ren's links and the link to the original video will be in the description, as always. Uh, that being said, let's get into this and see what this one's about. Oh, Lord, travel so Hang on. It says, from the age of 19 until 26, I spent most of my life in bed in physical and mental pain. I spent years bouncing from doctor to doctor, searching for a way out with no luck. Uh, I can relate to that. It's, it's, yeah, we can't figure it out. We'll just pass you on to the next guy. See if he can run some more tests and figure out what's going on with you. I hate that so much. Um, it's been going on nine years now. And we're at the point now where we're just treating the symptoms, you know. We're just treating the pain. We're not trying to figure out what the underlying cause of this disorder is. What started it. Um, they just gave it a name called demyelinating disease of the central nervous system, which um, the way it was explained to me is the myelin layer on the nerve cells that helps conduct the message from one nerve cell to the next is deteriorating. It's a degenerative disease. And they can't tell me why it's only affecting one side of my body either. So yeah, I, I, I fully understand the going from doctor to doctor to doctor with no luck and nobody can tell me what's causing all this what's what the underlying cause is um i have five pounds of grip in my left hand i've lost that much muscle on my left side i have 110 pounds of grip on my right, in my right hand so that's more than made up for it because i use that hand all the time but that's neither here nor there. I'm babbling. We're going to jump back into this. <laughs> okay, it says, The more time that passed without answers, the more my body would deteriorate. You know? That's the way it works. <laughs> By the time I was 25, I could barely stand and enter stress-induced psychosis. Although I was convinced I was going to die, I did climb out. This is my story of hope. Right. I wish I'd had more stories of hope at the time. Yeah, uh, it's... You never know what someone else's... What effect someone else's experiences can have on you. Um, you never know um, where that little spark of hope is going to come from. Uh, but yeah, it's those stories of survival and everything else. With the, with the disorder that you're dealing with, uh, that actually makes it easier to get through it. You know what I mean? I don't mean to into the past very much for these shards of shattered glass and harsh paper cuts. Leave me stop when I reach in memories are seeped in hydrochloric acid. I go to war and get passive and freeze up. Music helped the ice to thaw. Put the chisel in the middle. Ooh, music helped the ice to thaw. I like that. To war and get passive and freeze up. Music help the ice to thaw. Put the chisel in the middle, swing the hammer of Thor. Pull it out of the impossible, this caliber sword. Edging no pass full of reasons why my bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. what do you say about that? 
Music help the ice to thaw. Put the chisel in the middle, swing the hammer of Thor. Pull it out of the impossible, this caliber sword. Edging no pass full of reasons why my feelings are sore. The first day that I got sick, ejected from the cockpit of living. 19, young teen, waking up, bidding. Posters. Ooh. I like that analogy. It's waking it up from the cockpit of living. Uh. Or ejected from the cockpit of living. So, edging no pass for the reasons why my feelings are so. The first day that I got sick, ejected from the cockpit of living. 19, young teen, waking up, bidding. Posters up, manhunt, ran, went missing. Hard to have faith when the gods don't listen. The first year. <laughs> I hate to keep pausing, but he, he's, he's dropping some, he, some heavy lyrics. Like he said, hard to have faith when the gods don't listen. Yeah. Um the, the 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 more you live with chronic pain, the the less you think somebody's out there fucking watching. Uh, but I lost my faith a long time before this ever set in. Uh I lost my faith the day my sister passed, to be honest. Um Yeah, I kinda quit believing that there was a higher power after that. At least that there was someone watching over us. On ran went missing. Hard to have faith when the gods don't listen. The first year maybe was the hardest. Waking in the body that was buried like a carcass. Brain in the lion's den. Body in the shark pit. Waking up in pain again. Aching, broken hearted. Persistent little blogger. I was bouncing from a doctor to a doctor to a doctor. Like a table tennis game that has no end. So be the fate of Ren. Every single question answered with a question on the end. Hmm. 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 I was bouncing from a doctor to a doctor to a doctor, like a table tennis game that has no end. So be the fate of Ren. Every from a wait a minute, I gotta turn the captions on for that part. It was bouncing from doctor to doctor, table tennis game. Okay, never mind. That's what I was trying to figure out what he was saying. From a table, like a table tennis game that has no end, because he's bouncing going from one doctor to the next to the next to the next. And it's never ending as everyone has new ideas to try but no one ever wants to they want to treat the symptoms instead of the problem you know what i mean and because it's like they say a patient cured is a customer lost and that's the that's the right there is the bottom line Especially with the healthcare system in this country. Uh, but yeah, let me run this back a little bit. In again, aching, broken heart. Persistent little blogger, I was bouncing from a doctor to a doctor to a doctor. Like a table tennis game that has no end. So be the fate of Ren. Every single question answered with a question on the end. The second year I came to terms with giving up my dreams. Mine was severed from the means to help me write these rhyme schemes. Brain was inflamed. Wait. Been on my dreams, mine was severed from the means to help me write these rhyme schemes. Brain mine was severed from the means to help me write these rhyme schemes. Okay, so uh, that's when he was going out. He was going through the psychosis. He said it's the second year. Yeah, I came to terms with giving up my dreams. Mine was severed from the means to help me write these rhyme schemes. Brain was inflamed, the fatigue was crushing. Hard to remain sane with your brain combusting. And the third year was murder, living in a pug. I liked it. Brain was inflamed, uh, swelling. Um, how do you put that? He said it's hard to remain sane when your brain's combusting. I like that. That that's that's a good. Uh, that's a damn good line right there. Remain sane with your brain combusting. And the third year was murder, living in a pug. Tori for the worry, wouldn't live to be 30. Lifestyle hurt me, always in my bedroom. Rearrange the alphabet and all the letters spell doom. Light hurt my eyes, popping pills to survive. When you're 23 and mentally, you steadily decline. 24, I was poor. Disability benefits. What's the benefit of disability? It's a relevant. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 I could not agree more. What is the benefit of disability? Because uh, they, uh, <laughs> I've been on disability benefits for a while now, and 
there is no benefit to it. Uh, they barely, you barely get enough on disability to be just below the poverty line. You know, uh, which is why I, I'm so glad that I don't live alone. Because if I lived alone, I'd be screwed. If I didn't have my wife's income, I would literally be screwed. Because uh, disability doesn't pay shit. Uh, especially in this country. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let me back that up. I like that. What's the, what's the benefit of disability? My eyes popping pills to survive. When you uh, I, that right there was the other line that got me popping pills to survive. I I thought I was up to a lot myself before I saw uh, Ren Short one time where he shows what he goes through in a day. I was like, Jesus Christ. I thought I took a lot of pills. I'm up to, I think, 28, 29 prescription pills a day. But I've got 20 years on this man. He should not be having to take that many medications. It's not good for the body to be putting that many chemicals into it. What it is, is you get a medication, then you get another one to fight the side effects of that medication, then you get another one to fight the side effects of that medication. It's a never-ending stream, uh, never-ending cycle. And what really doesn't help is that they keep pushing these medications on you instead of fighting the symptoms. Like I said, instead of trying to fight the problem. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this song and I'm hating it at the same time because it has got me into some really deep thoughts right now. So not hating it exactly, but I'm loving it. Put it that way. It's just, it's got me thinking and yeah. Don't mind going. But we wouldn't live to be 30. Lifestyle hurt me. Always in my bedroom. Rearrange the alphabet and all the letters spell doom. Light hurt my eyes, popping pills to survive. When you're 23 and mentally, you steadily decline. 24, I was poor. Disability benefits. What's the benefit of disability? It's irrelevant. 25 and the scars that were etched, they crack. Elastic bands only stretch so far and then snap. Deep in right. psychosis. Hallucinations, troubled vision. This is from the underworld, but conjuring my superstition. When Five, living back at home with my mom But not because I'm a bum Alone and physically done So thin, so frail, so weak at the con And my skin so pale, never kissed by the sun One time I carved a hole in my chest Just to feel I wish that was a metaphor, the struggle was real Damn I've I've done similar things, you know uh, uh, It's just to feel something, you know. Like he's a, it, he carved a hole in his chest just to feel, and he wishes it was a metaphor. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 hard. Time I carved a hole in my chest just to feel. I wish that was a metaphor. The struggle was real. When you're living in the Holocaust, you buckle and kneel. There's relief in the teeth of the kiss of cold steel. Fat. 26, I'm highly medicated and the pain sophisticated while I'm lying broken naked on my back. I bought my microphone and took my cough and started dropping raw thoughts with the Grim Reaper knocking on the track. But then, man, lo and behold, I heard an angel beckon on this treacherous road. Was a stem cell doctor with a generous glow in the cell. Transplant pull me out of the cold nice. My skin got younger and my body got stronger And my stomach felt hunger for a door that was closed And my soul heard music for the first time Beauty was a word I'd use for this gift of gold I like that So he found a stem cell doctor And I guess that's why he's in Canada uh, But uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm, I'm really glad he found a way to get help uh because from the way he's describing it that was a life of absolute hell you know and uh it's rough it's like damn but like he said there, there's always hope you know even when, even in the darkest times there's a you never know where that spark of hope is going to come from, you know? Oh, heard music for the first time. Beauty was a word I'd use for this gift of gold. Oh, Lord, I forgive you. Lord, I forgive you. Lord, I forgive you. Make me whole. This music I give you. Pain that I live through. 
Everything I've been through is yours to hold. I like that. It says conditions like Lyme disease, ME, MCAS, POTS, fibromyalgia, etc., all received criminally low attention and funding relative to many other conditions. <laughs> Victims are usually left to suffer for years without any solid explanation of what is going on and receive very little help to escape a body constantly at war with itself. Man. <laughs> This can make you feel like giving up, and many times I came close, but I'm happy I didn't because life is beautiful now. I promise yours can be too. I like that. For those of you still living in the dark, hold on. There will be a day when these conditions are more easily managed. Until that day, I will keep pushing for more exposure, more compassion, more understanding. We all deserve a life free of suffering where we can find moments of real beauty and peace. Even when things seem hopeless, I promise this is still possible. Hope. Man, that's a powerful message. Um... Uh, I was mixed on this one because it's, it's it's like I thought it, it got me uh, thinking about how long I've dealt with my own condition and how I don't really see myself as as, as um, being very strong, uh, very strong willed. I pushed past all this and well. I'm pushing past all this. I won't say I pushed past it. It's still a never-ending cycle of one doctor to the next trying to figure out what in the hell caused this nerve disorder that I have. Um, they've ruled out MS. They've ruled out uh, ME. They've ruled out a bunch of stuff. Um, and finally just came down to one. Uh, the demyelinating disease. Uh, anyway, this was a, it got me into my, my, my thoughts that way, but it was also inspiring, uh, especially there at the end where he talks about, uh, not giving up and never losing hope, basically. Um, I really did like this, um. Uh, this was this was great. Uh, you guys have to let me know what you thought about this in the comments. Um, that is just about going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me. And I hope to see you on the next one. I love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here, Jerry J.